A chieftain of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Prince Tony Momo, has said some behind the scene forces worked against Comrade Adam Tushomole and Pastor Sageze Yamu during the Edo governorship election. According to the Sun, Momo, in an interview which Vincent Kalu disclosed that segmented loyalty played out in Edo and was the decider in the election. The Edo born politician explained that segmented loyalty among the senatorial districts and groups in Edo dominated above party loyalty during the poll. The APC chieftain pointed out that the election was mainly between the Edo North versus Edo South. Momo stated that the Edo South, which had 52% of the electorate, voted overwhelmingly for Godwin Obaseki during the poll. He said the people of the Edo South felt that it was the former APC chairman Adam Sushumole and not Eze Yamu that was campaigning for votes. Hmm. According to him, voters in Edo South thought Adam Sushumole overshadowed the campaign of the APC governorship candidates. On the other hand, Momo pointed out that almost all the local governments in Edo North massively voted for the All Progressive Congress because of their loyalty to comrade Adam Sushumole. Meanwhile, the People's Democratic Party in Ward 7, a local government of Edo State, has praised voters in the state for re-electing Governor Obaseki for his second term in office, stressing that residents of the state resisted an attempt by the opposition party to financially induce them. The councillor representing Ward 7, a local government area, Honorable Derek Umu Wagbo, gave the commendation at a victory party to celebrate the re-election of Governor Gordon Obaseki by executives and members of the PDP in the world. I deem it fit to host my constituents for the support they gave to Governor Gordon Obaseki, according to what Umuwagu said in the just-concluded gubernatorial election. Even when the opposition party was sharing between 5,000 naira to 7,000 naira, they refused to collect it because they prefer to vote their conscience. So we believe it is worth celebrating. He stressed that the governorship election has set a precedent in Nigeria, adding the victory of Governor Gordon Obaseki marks a new dawn in Nigerian politics and we feel there is a need for us to come together to dine and wine and appreciate God for the victory. On his part, the Chairman People's Democratic Party, PDP Ward 7, Ego Local Government, Honorable Dane Yongbe, said, I am very happy with the victory of Governor Godwin Obaseki. Governor Godwin Obaseki has done so much for Edo people and deserves the victory. Okay. I think um, I remember vividly a week to or some days to, if not two weeks to the election, uh, to the moment came out and, and, and said, the way he talked, he said the APC should not just look down on Obaseki. He said it. He said APC should not just look down on Obaseki because the narratives are there saying that uh, the man does not have a uh, the the minds of the people or he does not have people do not really are not really on his side that it's really a big lie. That if they take him for granted, they are they are doing that uh, they will be doing that at their own at their own detriment and also that Eze Yamu is another uh, man that to be reckoned with he has that force and he was still talking about uh, those who are saying that a uh, Obaseki contested under two parties uh, he, he contested under two primaries or whatever that they don't know what they are saying and he tried to clear it. He's a chief APC chieftain. He said it categorically. And even from the way he was speaking, I was like, he said, this man knows what he's talking about, that he's going to be a tough one, <laughs> that he's going to be a tough one, that in a free and fair election, they should not undermine Obaseki. And that's what really played out. But again, you know, when when people uh, begin to talk about uh, Obas uh, Oshomole, it's like Oshomole is the one contesting. They said Oshomole is, that Oshomole was trying to campaign for his top term. And some people are like, oh, why did they only mention Yoshimole, mention Yoshimole? Because he was always there. He was always at the forefront. He was the one who was speaking. You could hear his voice so loud. People say, oh, Obaseki should just focus on his uh, campaign. He should leave a, a, what is it called? He should leave a Yoshimole alone. Leave a Yoshimole alone. Yoshimole is not contesting with you. I could remember Captain Osa. He came out. He said, um, 
Obaseki has already gotten two people is a uh, three people is contending with that himself, Eze Yamu and Oshomole. That he has a three people can three candidates that is content he was contesting with. You know, they said many, many things that time, but the the HCC chief chain now that is talking about that people feel that it was or felt that it was Oshomole that was campaigning, which was true. And PDP said Oshomole was using sites to campaign for his third term. You know, people just believe that it was just a mere decision. But really, when you look at it, he was really at the forefront. You know, not that this man could not pull the trigger. He, he was able to do it in 2016. Ezeyama was able to do it without anybody. He was able to do perfectly well. And that's why a lot of people are coming out to say, uh, uh, Oshomole and... Um, Tinumbu that they caused is 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 failure because they just came to put petrol. Oshomole has already prepared the ground for the failure. Tinumbu just came and Oshomole came again to put a final uh, 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 whatever at the end of the day. So if APC people are seeing it, people saw it. You don't even need to be in the party to know what is happening. And one thing about these people, once they are together, they will not like to say the truth. But this man has come out to say just the way it is. And it's not going to be too surprising to a lot of people. People are not going to be surprised with what he's saying because people saw it, but they will be, they were denying it. But it's a good thing that this man is confirming what people people have said before now. So it is not going to be too new to people. People already know it because some people have the opinion that even before now that Oshomole has already dented the image of this man. Um, but some people are like, oh, it does not matter. It's just all about politics. Hey, it, it, it don't, it's not everybody that takes everything. And just like he said, and just like people are still saying, Edo state, Edo people, they've already set the pace that it is possible, it is doable in a free and fair election. If they say, people say, they don't want you, there's nothing you are going to do. There's nothing you are going to do. Or if you want to come and be lording things over them, they will not agree to it. And that was what they refused concerning Tinumbu as well. So it's a good thing that one of them is still saying they know it, but because they are still together, it will be shameful for them to be coming out. But this man had said something two weeks before or a week before the election. He came out and said, Yes, that don't just look down on Obaseki. If you look down on Obaseki, you are just joking. You are really joking. But and at the end of the day, it came to pass. Now they are going to be blaming themselves, blaming themselves that Oshomole took over the whole thing. Maybe he wanted to come and correct the wrongs because he knew quite all right that he had said a lot of things you know that was why you could see he was begging from one monarch to the other he was begging 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 kneeling down and they said hey this one will not help you it will not help you it will never help you and at the end of the day it didn't help him i know i was just surprised whether they both three local governments or four local governments it's really really a, a shameful outing honestly if you ask me with the preparation with everything and all of that of course uh, pdp cannot tell us that uh, yes uh, other people are sharing money but we didn't see much about a uh, pdp sharing money it was all about apc and with their federal might whether the federal might work for them or whatever or whether they supported it but the some days to the to the to the grand finale at they were supposed to hold grand finale of the campaign. Some of their supporters said, oh, forget, it does not matter what is it, all the campaigns, all the rallies they've been holding, and what has happened to that. That alone signified something. All the governors, they refused to come and they cancelled it. Well, it's all about lessons. This whole thing is all about everyone learning, whether you are a, a politician or you are not a politician, it is a, 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 a something that we, one needs to do, look at for those who are going to learn. Um, okay, uh, but Obaseki won in, okay, uh, it is not correct, Oshomole took the Edo for a ride by playing on their intelligence. You can fool some people sometimes, but all the time, the votes he got from the Edo North was cause of the project he did there, and tribal sentiment is too small to play on people's intelligence. Okay, that is the APC chief thing that are not important in election. You can only see them in median media talking nonsense shame on you no this man has said something before now and that's why i remember tony momo vividly he said all of these things so it is not even new so guys let's hear your opinion and let's know what you think about what uh, tony momo has said